All right, guys, so this is Android 15. I have it installed on my Google Pixel 9 Pro. I also have it on my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, but there's some, some extra features in here on the fold that I wanted to go through. Um, so let's just jump right into this. The first one is theft detection. This is actually pretty cool. So basically it determines when your phone has been stolen. So I've gone to settings. Once you get into settings, just go to the search right here and type the word theft and it will pop right up. Theft protection, tap on that and it brings you right in here. And then you can see theft protection. It uses built-in safeguards to protect your personal data if your device is stolen. Scrolling down a little bit more, theft detection lock. The screen will lock if this setting detects that someone has took your phone and ran away. So turn that on and you can see how it works. If theft detection lock detects your device was taken from you, your device's screen will lock automatically to prevent anyone from accessing your personal data. This feature uses your device's motion sensors and Wi-Fi and smart device connections to try to detect if someone's abruptly taken your phone and run away. Keep in mind, you must be actively using your device while it's unlocked. So I'm gonna hit turn on. I think that's a great feature. It's really, really smart. Offline device lock. Your screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. Again, turn that on. How it works, your device's screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. For example, your device will lock if someone steals it and turns off the internet to prevent location tracking. Keep in mind, you must be actively using your device. Turn on for that as well. You also have remote unlock. If your device is lost or stolen, you can lock its screen with just a phone number. So if you come in here and turn that on, I don't have a SIM in here, but if I did, um, basically you could come in here and go to android.com slash lock, put in the phone number and it will lock it for you. Um, that's a great thing. You can do that from basically any device. Find and erase your device. Use find my device to locate and erase your device and come on here and go on find my device and you can remotely lock it or find your offline device. Um, that's not really terribly new, but th this thing is really cool. The theft protection and offline device lock stuff. That is awesome. I love this. Um, you don't get a lot. I feel like in America, you don't get a lot of people just you holding your phone and you run away and someone grabs it and runs away. I mean, I, I know it probably happens, but I would assume it happens in other countries more often than not, but still a really cool feature to have. Going back to the settings here on the main page, we're gonna go next to private space. So we just type private space and this will pop up. Here it is, private space, tap into that. And what this does, this gives you a private space on your phone to basically hide apps that you don't want people to get into. Maybe it's your dating app or a banking app um, or a photos app or something like that. It'll stop people from getting in there and you can set a different lock as well to keep it protected. So I'm gonna go into private space and you can see I can either use my pattern or I can verify it's me with my face on lock. So I'm just gonna use my fingerprint to get in here and it's now in and I just need to hit set up, setting up my private space. Just give it a minute here and I'll show you how it works as well once it's, it's all set up and we add some things in here. All right, create a Google account to help prevent, to help keep your data private on the next screen. You can sign into an account to use with your private space, create a dedicated account to help data appearing outside the private space such as synced photos, apps, downloads, all that stuff. So I'm gonna hit get it. Let's check in my info. And you could, I guess, set up a brand new space, like a, a new account, um, or you can also use an existing account. It's probably gonna work better if you use an, uh, an account that's not on your phone, that way you can hide stuff better, but it's up to you, I guess. Okay, so I'm back in, I signed into the account, and this is where I can set up a new lock just for private space, or use the same lock you use to, use, to unlock your device. Now, if I were you, I would use a new lock that way if it's somebody that you know and you don't want them getting into this space, they won't know. So I'm going to choose a new lock and I'm going to set that new lock up and right here. Okay. So now it's asking me to create that. I can do a pattern and fingerprint or a pin and a fingerprint or a password and fingerprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pin and I'm going to create the pin that's not already on my phone. All right, the pin is created. Now it's asking me to uh, add a fingerprint. So what I'm gonna do is add my 
index finger because the other one is for ooh, continue setup is for my thumb. So I'm going to do the this finger right here and it takes a bit of time. OK, fingerprint has been added now. I'm going to hit done. All right. And in order to see this, basically, it's going to be at the bottom. So you just need to swipe up, go to the very bottom and you're going to see private space. You tap on that and then I can put in my fingerprint. And now I have my private space in here. So that's how you get into the private space. You do have some options in here. If I want to install more apps in here, I can hit this plus sign uh, and come to the Google Play Store and download something like maybe I want a different app in here. Maybe I want like Instagram or something, even though I already have Instagram. I can come in here and I can install a brand new Instagram. So I have a separate Instagram set up in that lock space. And if I do, I'll just hit uninstall right here real quick. You can see it's installed. I'm gonna go back, go back to that private space. Now in here, I have Instagram if I want it to be in there. So that's pretty cool that you can do that uh, on here. Also, when I'm coming in here, if I hit this gear, this brings me into the private space settings and I can actually hide that private space. You can see hide private space. If I come in here and I turn that on, private space will hide the next time you lock it. I'm gonna hit got it. And then I'm just gonna go home. And you can still see it's probably still there. It should be anyway, yep it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home and I'll lock the screen and then I'm gonna unlock it. I'll just unlock it real quick, unlock the phone. And when I come back in here and I go back in, you're gonna see it doesn't show it anymore. I, so you wouldn't know. So what you have to do is you have to tap into the top right here, search the word private, and you'll see private space. Tap here and it will bring you back in. I'm gonna put my other fingerprint and it automatically brings me into my private space, allowing me to access those things that I have in here that are protected and all of that. If I wanna lock it immediately, I can just tap that and it automatically uh, goes away again. And if I wanna bring it back up, since it's hidden, I would just type private. And that's the, probably the way I would keep it, honestly, just cause like, you don't want people to know you have a private space in there. It's better for them to like, if, if you can't see it, you're not gonna think about it. Um, so it's kind of cool that it's there all automatically in here. And I don't even, can you even move the apps? Doesn't even look like you can move the apps, kind of weird. Um, my apps, yeah, so there you guys go. That's uh, That's the state of the private section. Pretty cool though, nonetheless. This next one has to do with multitasking. I've kind of covered, it, covered this in the, in the past, but let's just say I have my browser open here. If I swipe up a little bit, I'm gonna have my taskbar. If I press and hold this little bar right here, I can always show the taskbar so I don't have to bring it up. So no matter what, anytime I open up an app, it's automatically going to show on here. I don't have to swipe up to see this, so it might be a little bit easier to multitask. Uh, that way, if I wanna bring the, uh, you know, that right here, I can multitask pretty quickly. And again, you can put that, you can hide that if you want. Also, if I wanted to save this as an app pair, uh, very easy, all you're gonna do is just swipe up and you'll see save app pair. I can do that and it will save it as an app pair on my home screen. If I want easy access to it, I can just tap it. I saved this one earlier and I can also, also double tap that and switch these around if I want or make these bigger or smaller. And then I can also go to this one automatically. So some multitasking things that have been added within Android 15. This next one is archiving. This is actually kind of cool. It allows you to save some space, but keep all the login and, and app information for it. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna press and hold on Amazon, for instance. I'm gonna go into, and I can install it in private if I want, app info, and I can do archive. iPhone has something like this as well. It's not really anything new, but when I come back in here and I look at my Amazon app, it's grayed out. But if I tap it, it's gonna automatically redown the app for me. And when I go back into it, it will, I don't know if I logged into it yet on this phone, but it would be naturally logged in for me. I'll show you in just a moment. Actually, yeah, it looks all go in, you go into Amazon and uh, you can use, again, I wasn't logged in, so that's why it wasn't showing it. I'll do it with an app that I am logged into, which would be Twitter. So we'll find X, I'm gonna press and hold that. I'm gonna go into where it says uh, up here, I, and I'm going to archive it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back and you can see it's archived, saving me the space of the actual install file. I'm gonna tap it, it's gonna download it in just a moment. And when I go back into it, I should still be logged into just like the way I was before and it saves that app information of whatever I had there before. All right, it's now installed. I'm gonna go back in here. I guess it doesn't save your login information, but you can log into it. It should save any information that's within the app. Um, so if you had some kind of media app, it would save the media within that app, but it's, I guess it doesn't save your login information. So there you guys go. That is Android 15, some of my favorite features. Not a ton, um, it's already, pretty fully featured in a lot of ways. And I think that's why they didn't do anything, but those are some cool features you can do. Thanks for watching, have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.